Let's just go to that huge three-pointer made for me. Your first of the game, and you made it when this team needed it most. What did the ball feel like coming off your hand? Uh, you know, I, I knew uh, I won the three-point contest here. I feel tremendously confident. Um, threes weren't falling all day for me, but uh, I've said it before. I'll say it again. Uh, game's on the line. Uh, 32 feels like he can make any shot in the fourth. So when I caught the ball, it just felt good. You know, I got that jab step just to get a little rhythm, just to get some insurance. Uh, when I shot it, I started hopping. I already knew it was in, so uh, it's good. You know, it's good to just be able to come through for my teammates, you know, uh, play just – I'm really happy, you know, with the way I played tonight. I thought I played really good winning basketball. So just trying to win the game at all costs. It doesn't have to be stats to get the job done. Just have to do what I got to do and do my job well. You talk about your confidence, especially in those late-game moments. What fuels that confidence? How do you stay locked in? The work. I don't think anyone in this league works harder than me in the gym, so – and my body and just lifting, so uh, – my confidence is just bred off of just hard work and dedication to this game and this craft. So, uh, you know, confidence, you know, a lot of people in this uh, playing basketball have a lot of fake confidence, but mine's is real because I put the work in. After last game, you talked about the starting five, how you guys had to get the job done, get back to playing on offense. After a night like this, when you close it out the way you guys did, what does this do for that? I mean, let's not get it twisted. Uh, first half, we didn't do our job. You know, let's, let's be real. Uh, uh, we got to be accountable for ourselves, especially the starting group. We didn't do our job, but we came out in the third quarter uh, and made a big push and did our job the way we know how to. And uh, we showed what we could do when we're disciplined and we're uh, playing the game we know how to play, moving the ball. Uh, I think we just, we're very hard to beat when we're playing discipline. So I think that's our next step. When we could get that discipline on a 48-minute, every-night basis, uh, we're going to be a very, very scary team. All right, Carl, thanks for your time. I right, appreciate it.